am in Dublin, uh, amazing city, capital of Ireland, uh, and uh, I'm in a really amazing place called O'Connell Street. And behind me, behind me, is a very interesting thing. Right, just look how tall it is. So here's the spike. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. I wonder how tall it is. Well, I think there's a way of working it out to just a piece of A4 paper. Now I've got another one here, but all I've done with this uh, is I've folded it up. So here's what I've done. I've taken this edge here and I've folded it down onto this edge. Okay, and this is the same. Then I've got rid of the other extra bits here. So this is a triangle, but as you can see, it is an isosceles triangle, meaning that these two edges are the same. And here's what we're going to do with it. Spikes over there, triangles here. If I turn it so that the top points exactly the top and I keep the base horizontal, then hopefully the height of the spike will be exactly the same as the distance that we are from the base. So all we've got to do is walk backwards until it lines up. Let's go! Okay, I've gone back, I don't know, 60, 70 meters. Let me just check. So uh, keep this horizontal and uh, look along. Nope, I'll do about halfway. Let's keep going. Oh, nearly there. A bit further back. Well, uh, it's not the most scientific, but if I hold the base horizontal, uh, this is about the top of the spike. So uh, where I am now, this distance to the base of the spike should be the same as the height of the spike. So what we've got to do is work out how to measure this distance. Well, luckily for us, we can measure horizontal distances on the floor pretty easily because we've got a piece of A4. Okay, so here we are. This is, this is the same distance. So all we've got to do now is look down here. Here's a piece of A4 that I used. To save time, I've got another piece. Okay, and I'm going to put this one here. So that's two. You see, I said I'd only use A4. So that's two, three, four, five. This could take a while, so um, we'll see you in a minute. Nearly there, this is tiring. Here we go, just a few more. One, two, keep track, keep track. One more there, one more there. Here we go, another one. Another one. And about one more. Okay, most of the hard work's done. Here's what happens. Remember, we made our triangle from a piece of A4. And then we argued that the base and the height of that triangle are the same. And the same thing is true of the yellow triangle that we're going to show on the diagram now, which is the height of the spike and the distance we stood from it, so that our blue triangle and our yellow triangle mapped onto each other if we move far enough away. It turns out that it took us exactly 384 pieces of A4 to get this distance, 384 times 0.3, which is about the size of a piece of A4, and another 2 metres from my height, gives us 117.2. Bingo. Now don't forget this is only an approximation, but actually it's amazing how accurate you can be. Why not try and find out the real height of the spike? See you next time.